All right, guys, so let's just get straight to the demo so you know why you have to watch this video till the very end. So we're going to be building out this beautiful uh, book selling website. So it doesn't have to be really a book selling website. You can choose to sell PDFs. You can choose to sell um, notes, uh, set of studies if you have uh, the copyright for them or what not. So you can choose to really sell anything, also including audio books. So you have the option to sell a lot of stuff right here. Uh, on this particular website. So this website by default already, it is responsive. So it will look good on both your desktop, on your tablet, as well as uh, on uh, on desktop. So this is how it will look on tablet, which is actually uh, quite slick. You actually get this particular uh, navigation bar. So you can go ahead and maybe click on books. And there's a certain way where it will also look on tablet. So this is how it will look on tablet. So it actually looks quite nice. And if you also resize this to uh, the display of uh, a mobile phone, you see it is also responsive on mobile. So enough with that. So let's go ahead and check out the functionality. So this will allow you to be able to sell whatever digital product, which is in this case is a book. So it will be able to actually enable the user to able to purchase a book from this particular website of yours. And once they have completed uh, their payment using whichever method they they choose, they will get this sent to their email. So enough talk, let me actually show you how this particular uh, thing works. So if I click on this particular book, for example, I'll be taken to a single product page where it only displays uh, this particular book. I'll be able to see the description of the book. I'll be able to see some reviews. And I also get recommended some related products related to this book based on category and the tags I actually included. So if I click on add to cart, which is actually just one book, you'll see the bone of Aplex has been added to your cart. And I can go ahead and instead of even just viewing, let me just click on this. You have this nice looking uh, user interface. So I'm just going to click on checkout. So I skip all this bullshit and get straight to the payment part. So for the details, let me just go ahead and inputs. Uh, you can leave that, that is optional. So just put in also your streets, maybe that's optional. Okay, so maybe the zip code as well, the phone number. What is essential here is the email address because this is actually where you'll be sent your files. So let me just put in my email. Yeah, so just like that. And once you've actually input that, you'll see your order, your subtotal, and you'll be asked to actually put in your phone number. So let me just put in that phone number. And just before I do that, let me go ahead and start this recording software on my on my phone so that you'll be able to see in real time uh, what's actually going on from the payment side. So right there, all I have to do now is click on place order. And as you can see, I get an SDK push, which I'm just going to complete. Just like that. And immediately I complete this, I'll be redirected uh, to the, the page for after the, the payment. So as you can see, uh, here's the page where I can always send another SDK push. And at this point, uh, contrary to what you guys thought, it has already changed the status at completed and I have all the details about this payment, but we are more concerned about the user. So let's just go ahead and pretend to be a user. So if I go to my email, I should have a new one Right here, as you can see, this was like uh, probably a few seconds ago. So as you can see, zero minutes ago on the timestamp. So thank you for shopping with us. We have finished processing your order. And this is the particular download. So payment received by MPESA. Also, you even have the transaction ID and all that summary. So this is very convenient. And if I click on that, I can just download uh, the file directly. So as you can see, it's downloading. And I also set a limit. So if I click on this another time, I, I put it, you can only download twice, but you can change it for your case. So if I click one more time, I will not be able to download. So sorry, you have reached your download limit. Go to shop. So that is just a nice feature that, that is added on top. So as you can see, you can basically sell anything as long as it's digital. So not exactly has to be books. I'm just showing you uh, this particular example. So, okay, let's now go from our perspective of the, the admin. So if I go ahead and log into the particular website, so let me log into WordPress. 
I should have an order. So if I go into the products, not the products, sorry, if I go into orders, as you can see, we have this order right here, two minutes ago, the receipt and the status is completed. So if I click on this, I should be able to see all the details about this particular transaction. As you can see, full M-Pesa payments I received from, that is my number, transaction ID, all that. So all this information is available. And let's go ahead and cancel one so that you guys can actually see this in practice. So let me just head back to um, the, the, the sites. Let me click back to the home. And I'm just going to click on uh, the one I used for testing this one. So I'm just going to add this to cards, same process, and uh, checkouts. So let me just check out instantly. And you know the drill, same thing, same shebang, and place order. But only this time, I'm going to cancel it. So cancel that, I'm not paying. Okay. So as you can see, you still get redirected to this page. But if I'm to go and check out that email, uh, so let me just head back to this. If I check, I don't have, I only get this uh, zero minutes ago. So thank you for your order. It's on hold until we confirm that payment has, has been received. In the meantime, here's a reminder of what you ordered. So as you can see, you will get uh, the order details, but you don't get the products because we know you actually canceled this. This is just being polite, saying, uh, thank you for your order, but you already know this guy canceled this. So if I head back into my orders and click on that, as you can see, this payment is right here on hold. So if I click on it, I can see more details about the guy. So I know why exactly this is the status. So as you can see, I can get uh, to know exactly that this user, the request was canceled by the user. So the order status was changed from pending to on hold. So yeah, that is basically... Uh, the entire project in a nutshell. So let's not waste any more time. Let's just get straight into building this project and let's get it. So I'm not going to leave any detail out. So I'm starting out with a fresh installation of WordPress that is on my uh, cPanel WordPress manager. For the hosting, I've said this time and time again, if you need the best hosting here in Kenya, you can check out Truehost with their very cheap uh, and beatable rates. This is the best uh, hosting here in Kenya. But if you do have like different payment options, you can go with the Namecheap, but you'll have to pay with PayPal or a card. But if you do have that, go for Namecheap. If not, then this one can allow you to pay with M-Pesa and you still get some pretty good plan at a very affordable price. The link will be down in the description. So take advantage of that uh, discount that comes with that link. So let's just get straight to it. So I'm just going to return to uh, the WordPress uh, management and just close this off. Then I'm going to install a fresh, uh, a fresh uh, copy of WordPress. So just pick the domain name that you wish to uh, install this one. So I usually use this one. Uh, just because I've, that is what I'm used to. So for this, I'm just going to put in something very generic. I'll delete all this after this tutorial. Uh, then for the password, let me just do it. So, okay. Doesn't really matter because it will automatically log me in and will always remember this. So for the plugins, uh, just uncheck this unless you want to check on some of those. But I usually just leave it blank for the site. Let me call it uh, bookstore or something. Doesn't matter. You can change this later. Then I'm going to say to the best book in hand. Very cheesy, but it will work. Then I'm just going to just uh, click on install. And so depending on the speed of your PC, it's going to take a while to actually do this. But uh, mine is a standard PC, so let's just bear with this okay we're good to go so if i visit this i have a very plain looking uh website where they have this 22 theme the, the default of wordpress but that's not the one i want so let me just click on this second link which is the your website url forward slash wp admin so you might be asked to log in but sometimes it will just log you in automatically so first of all i do like to be more of a minimalist 
So I go ahead and clear all these options from my screen like this. I don't need this, I don't need this, don't need that. Perfect, so I have this clean uh, UI to work with. So what you need to do now is go into appearance, click on themes. The theme you'll be using to build out this store, I usually I prefer a, a theme that comes with uh, uh, imported content. So that way you just edit the content instead of building out everything with maybe um, a, a, like a blog builder or something, no need. So let, let's just go into add new. And the one I usually recommend to you guys is the one called Astra. Astra has a lot of free um, uh, themes to use and it is, it is very actively maintained. So you never have to run into that era of death by WordPress websites where your site just doesn't work. So just click on activate. Okay, so once we have activated this, I can go ahead and uh, delete the rest of these guys. Very simply, just click on delete. I just need the one, so I can also delete this one. So delete, I just need to have one theme. Also delete this as well. So go on, forgotten, okay. So now we are only left with Astra, so I'm going to click on Astra options. Okay, then uh, what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to click import a plugin. So what this will do is it will allow you to be able to have some particular uh, layout without actually having to build it up. It also comes with a set of plugins that allow the layout you pick to actually function, which means that you get a lot of functionality and you get a lot of uh, nice design straight out of the box. So as much as we'd like to hear what he's saying, just skip and click on build your website. Now, for the page builder, I suggest Elementor. So just click on Elementor, but you can use the one you prefer. So right now, uh, the one we need is called book something. So let's just search for book. So you, you see you have a lot of options, but I found this one to, to be really the best. So just click on this one. And once you have clicked on uh, that particular uh, theme, then what you want to do is actually, if you want to configure your logo, then this is where you do it. You actually upload your file here, specify the width, but I'm just going to skip that. Here you specify your color scheme to fit your particular maybe business brand logo and what's not. I'm just going to go with this because that's how our channel is and what's not, and then just click on continue. So here I just put in some details, uh -huh, so just whatever, it doesn't really matter. So just don't click on this or else you'll get really annoying uh, emails. So just click on submit and build my website. And so what it's now going to do is it's going to install, when, while it's doing this, kindly head down to that uh, particular red button down there and just click on it. It's free and it really helps to motivate me to keep making more of this content for you guys. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up so you can get to more uh, people out there. And I'll really be grateful. So yeah, let's just wait for this to finish up while you give your boy another sub down there. Okay, so it's actually just finishing up and I think we are done. We are done, okay. So your website is ready and it took 36 seconds to build. So it's actually a very fantastic service. So just click on view your website. And as you can see, you now have some of these uh, uh, books already on your site, maybe a biography of the author. You can always change this. I'm going to show you how you can change this how you can change the pricing and all that kind of stuff. But already straight out of the box, uh, this website is absolutely uh, responsive. So if I go ahead and uh, let me just get an incognito tab. No, screw it. Let's just inspect it right here. So as you can see, this will look perfect, not only on your, on your PC, but it also look perfect on somebody viewing it on mobile, which in today's day and age, a lot of people are viewing this from their mobile phones. So you need to actually cater uh, for those guys. Otherwise, your website will be one of the worst. So as you can see, even when I go to the book section, everything is well laid out, just like that. Look at that. Very responsive in whatever screen. And this is a very nice looking site. So let's just go ahead and make it now uh, to work in some place like Kenya because some of these payment gateways at the moment uh, stuff like PayPal and card, which is not exactly our cup of tea. 
So let's just go back and go into uh, the dashboard. So let me just close that off. And what I'm going to do is just visit that, that route, just like that. Okay, so what you want to do now is you're going to WooCommerce and go into settings because we have to change first uh, this kind of currency. So just first of all, enter your address lines. So just maybe, no need, you know what? You can actually just skip that part. So just specify the state. So let me just say um, Nakuru, Kenya Nakuru, the postal zip. Okay, so sell to all countries, yes. Ship to countries you sell to. Because this is a bookstore, uh, there is no need, you don't actually do any shipping. So just leave that out. Okay, the currency changes to Kenya shilling. So just KSH, Kenya shilling. And yeah, that's it pretty much. And click on save changes. Okay, so once you have saved that, that is looking good. So what you now need to do is go into the product, the product themselves, because we need one to do some test. So this way you can actually edit your, your products. You just head over to this tab and click on all products. This is where you'll see. For now, we have the products that were imported uh, with the theme. So you can, let me just show you how to edit one and you'll figure out what to do with the rest. So as you can see, like uh, if I click on edit, I now have this title, Born of Aflex. I can change this, uh, this text and what's not, you know, you know, something fantastic or what not. So how to change this is you actually just have to change, click check on this downloadable because these are downloadable products because it's a, it's a book. Then what we're going to do is, uh, let me just go into PDF, PDF drive or something. This is where I usually get my PDFs. Let's go into PDF drive, okay. So I'm just going to uh, look for a random book here, which I'm going to download and I'm going to use as my product. Meanwhile, uh, let me just show you guys what to actually do. So what you have to do now is you actually insert your price here. So let me just give it like, I don't know, 20 shillings, that seems okay. Okay, the sale price you can put if you have maybe a discount going, uh, you can do a download limit. Let me just do two. And you can do an expiry so that if maybe someone pays uh, after two days, uh, they can't not they can't download this anymore. And if they download it, they can download it twice. Uh, after that, the the file is just uh, not downloadable anymore. So let me just uh, use this book, give or take, while helping others drive our success. So as it downloads, let me just show you uh, what you have to do during the editing. Here you have everything. This is the, the, the book description. So you can actually just uh, generate, type in what your book is about right here. And also a short description right here. You also have the categories. So fantasy, sci-fi, you can add a new one by just clicking on this. You can add more images about the book right here. And of course you have uh, the particular book cover right here. So once you're done with that, you'll click on update to update those details. And that's how exactly you can customize the site. I'll also show you how to customize each and every single page. So don't even trip about that, I got you. So right here, let me just click on download. So this is a very nice site, it's very fast. But hopefully what I'm helping you to achieve is to kind of do the same thing they're doing, but actually monetize your site. So but I do appreciate what they're doing because they're doing all this for free. Let me just close some of the tabs, kind of slowing it down. Okay. Okay, it's taking quite some time. So I don't know why it's actually doing that. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so as you can see, I can download in different formats. Let me just download the PDF. Okay, so uh, is it right there? So I can show it in the folder. Okay, so I have it here. So what I'll do now is head back to the store and actually upload a file. So let me just add file, so choose the file. So I can now just drag and drop uh, a file. 
So let me just drop it right here. So give or take while helping others drive our success and what's not. So let's just wait for that to upload. It should be done in a few seconds. So be sure to also input this title. It really helps with the uh, SEO. So for the caption, I'll say give, give and 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 and, and set best seller. something and then just click on it search file url and you're, you're good to go you're good to go so all you have to do now is click on update yeah and that product is actually updated nice 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 so now that we actually have this if i go back and refresh refresh this particular store uh you can see that i have this particular i have one featured book probably my best seller and uh, as you can see, we have the bone of Applex one right here. This is how the single uh, book page looks. So as you can see, you have a description. Uh, you have related products being uh, offered. You also have the sale tag for the books you are actually having on a particular offer. So people can also review uh, this particular book, say if they enjoyed it or whatnot. Uh, but that is not what we want to configure right now. What we want to configure right now is uh, actually uh, the MPSA part. So what you actually have to do to configure that is simple. You need uh, the plugin. So basically just head down to this video uh, description. You will find the link, add it to the bag, click on checkout. And once you have actually completed that payment, you will get a zip file, which will contain the plugin. So once you have that zip file, just click on plugins and click on add a new plugin. So once you have added the, that new plugin, all you have to do is navigate to your, to your folder where you have this plugin. So let me just click on upload. And then what I'll do is I'll just drag it in. So this is how your zip file will look. And then just upload it like that. Okay, so right there, click on install. So basically you don't even need a dev to set this up. You can set it up yourself, click on activate the plugin. Okay, so let's just give it a sec and it's already activated. So once it's activated, if you click on WooCommerce, you will notice you now have config MPESA and MPESA analytics added. Just click on the configure MPESA uh, tab. And already without even touching this plugin, it will come with some test credentials that enable you to test this out on, on Sandbox. But once you need to go, once you need to receive this on your pay bill or till, just go through a process by Safaricom called going live. And once you have that, you just replace these credentials with your, with your short code, your consumer key, online pass key. We have really done a lot to cover this and how to do this. And don't even worry, we also uh, uh, enable you to be able to get those services we can help you out to go live so don't even worry about that so basically i need you to just leave this as it is for now because it's already pre-configured for you so that you don't need to have any stress so let's just close that i also promise to show you how to edit the pages so if you click on all the pages you'll be able to see the pages that the importer was able to import so you can see you have the books page you have the cart page, you have the checkout page. So if I click on edit, maybe the checkout page, uh, I can edit with whichever uh, blog editor I have. For now, I haven't installed Elementor on this installation of WordPress, but yeah, of course you will have that option. So as you can see, you do have this blog editor uh, by default, but close that and you can click on edit with Elementor. I usually prefer this, you know what? Everyone has their own taste, everyone has their own preference. So this is just something that works for me. So, uh, okay. So of course this won't work for me because I um, haven't installed Elementor at the moment. So let's just uh, stop wasting a lot of time on this. Let me just close that. But from there you can easily just drag and drop what you need on a page, what you don't need, change it whichever way you like and what's not. So let me just go ahead and test this product. So let me give it a refresh. 
So bone of aplex. So let me just add that to cut. Meanwhile, let me just start up my, my screen recorder as always, you know, the drill so that you can be able to see in real time as this actually happens. So uh, let me just turn that on. And as you can see, you have the option to actually like view this as a single particular uh, image gallery. So once you had like a lot of screenshots of your book, you can actually have a lot of uh, preferences. Maybe you can show the guys the introduction, the preface, so they get more interested in purchasing this. So I've added one product to the cast right now. So let me just click on that. Let me move myself here. And let me just, instead of view cuts, let me just click on checkouts directly. So you just have to fill in these details. Okay. So company name is optional. You can leave that out. Apartment switch is also optional. Uh, but you, as, as I said before, you can edit this out from your Elementor. If you don't want to see this, this is the important part. You actually have to put in your email address because this is a downloadable product. That is where it will be sent. So let me just put in mine. Okay, so once I've actually put that in, you can add some notes, which is not really necessary. And right now, let me just put in my phone number and just click on place order. So you see, I have this SDK push on my phone. So let me just complete that. Okay, and hit send. Thank you for using M-Pesa. And immediately once I have confirmed this payment, we will be able to actually have uh, this particular transaction confirmed and I'll be redirected uh, to the complete checkout page right here. So as you can see, I've uh, successfully checked out. I also have some instructions just in case you need to pay manually. And also don't worry about the manual parts, the system supports offline payments. So if I go the manual route and pay with maybe T number, the manual route, I'll still get this payment and I'll still get this uh, source code, uh, not source code, this particular book. So let's just go ahead and now look at what exactly happens after this. So I've purchased this book, so I need to see it sent to my mail. So if I click on my mail right now, I should have an email from the shop uh, where they have sent me the book directly to my email. So as you can see, bookstore. So your bookstore order is now complete. Thank you for shopping with us. We have finished processing your order. So downloads, bone of Applex, you know, the order. So as you can see, you have all the information, how the user paid. I paid with Lipana M-Pesa, 20 shillings. You even have the transaction ID. So the plugin is working perfectly. And you can find it down in the description for our, our limited time sale where we have a discount. So just grab it now. You'll thank me later. So as you can see, you also have this attachment. So you can download it right here and you can download it right here. So if I click on this and maybe download it like that, it will actually download. So if I repeat this again, let me just repeat that one more time. It will download. But if I try it again the third time, sorry, you have reached your download limit for this file. So basically you can even say this can only be downloaded once and once that user has downloaded it once they can't access it one more time. So basically that is how it actually works. You can also create, once a user has also created an account on this, they'll be able to view their orders and the books they already purchased before I write from uh, the website, so, which is fantastic. But also let's now think about it in our uh, in form of us, uh, the owners of the website. So let's go ahead and check out if we actually have that order received. So let's just go ahead and visit that URL. So let's just go ahead and check that out. So if I go into WooCommerce and click on orders, I should be able to see one order which is complete. So as you can see, Fortune Langat three minutes ago, here's the MPSA receipt and it is actually uh, completed. So as you can see, this is a completed order. Uh, you also have the order notes, full MPSA payment received from this number, this is the transaction ID and what's not. As you can see, you guys thought uh, in the previous video that it was taking long to confirm, but it actually confirms almost instantly. And once it does, you get this change to completed. 
So let's go ahead and even do one, but we won't complete it. So let me just go ahead and click on books. Then I'm just going to pick the same one as before, right there. And then I'm just going to add to the cut. Okay. Then I'm going to view it. And I'm going to proceed to the checkout. So same thing, same drill, you know the drill. So I'll just enter the phone number like this, place an order. But this time I'm actually going to cancel it. So cancel. Okay, so I have canceled uh, that particular order. So if I go ahead and go back into this particular page and click on orders, you will actually see that there's a difference. So the status will be on hold because this particular payment wasn't completed. And if I click on this, I can be able to see more information about this particular uh, payment. So I can actually see what exactly happened. So I can see the request was canceled uh, by the user. That's why the order status changed from pending payments to on hold. So this user is not getting any email and it's not getting the product. So that was a quick video. Uh, hopefully you found uh, some value from this. If you haven't a subscriber, kindly consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel to grow. And it also helps you to grow your skills and be able to actually monetize them uh, to start making a revenue from your business, or even maybe just offering this uh, particular skill to other people. So whichever way you choose to use uh, this knowledge, I'm actually happy that you chose uh, to choose the channel. So hopefully you guys, I'll see you in the next one where we'll be, we will be doing a B2C transaction. So if you don't want to miss that out, be sure to subscribe, turn on the bell. <laughs>